Hey, what's up guys? It's Virginia Schmidt from Divinity School. Divinity School being a community of fellow seekers out there who are looking to bring more divine consciousness and power into our human experience and share with each other how we're doing that, the experience of doing that, the joy of doing that, and really it's about the joy of, of being. And that's what we are, is divine, eternal love, just being. So today I just wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about a phrase, almost an affirmation, that's been speaking to me a lot. And it's from a book that my dear friend Noelle recommended to me. It's called The Reality of Being by... Jean de Salzman. It's on, it's on my bed. Hang on, let me get it. So I ordered it from the local bookstore and I'm sure you can find it on Amazon. The Re the reality of being by Jean de Salzman. And it's, um, following the fourth way of, of Gerd, Gurdjieff. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong, but the cool thing about this book, the fourth way is you guys probably do this thing where uh, well, I often go into a bookstore and I and I feel, or you know, you can go in anywhere and feel I am going to find or be found by that which is, you know, most coming to me for, for my next moment of growth. And there was about eight years ago when I lived in Los Angeles, I went to this used bookstore and this book, I still have it, The Fourth Way. I wasn't really ready for it then, but this beautiful blue cover, I'll show it in a future video, just called to me off the shelves and and I picked it up and I just, I knew it was really important. And then recently, um, The Fourth Way got brought back up to me and then specifically this book. And I would highly recommend this book. I'm about a third of the way through it. But what I wanted to bring up and what's been really powerful for me is this idea that she brings up of voluntary passivity. And I know the word passivity for us is a bit of a negative word. Like we think of it as... Um, even maybe being taken over or something. Like if I'm passive, something's going to act upon me. Um, but it's, yeah, that is kind of it. And it's also something that which you are is going to more freely act through you. And I love this idea of voluntary passivity. I've been tying it in a bit with um, listening to Elizabeth Hayes's book, Initiation, on giving voice to the wisdom of the ages. And... She talks a lot about telepathy and about sharing will, like picking up the will of another. And um, I mean, it's telepathy and also just sharing of like energetic intention and will. And she plays around with this quite a bit um, in her in her younger years. And she discovers that in order to do this, you must completely clear out everything that's going on with you, right? You must completely clear out this whatever whatever drama or narrative or sort of selfish and personal things really that you would be thinking of and become impersonal in order to receive and become a clear channel like become very clear and so this voluntary passivity is if you want to receive what is really here in this moment rather than just running on the program of all of your stored data of that which you know, you've already accumulated and are using to make associations and, and do all these things. Um, if, if you want to do that, you know, that's, that's one thing, but you're, it's like, you're full. It's like, you're full because you're there with all this activity and you're there putting in all these things that it's like, this is what it means. And this is what needs to be thought. And these are the expectations and anticipations and parallels and, and everything rather than a voluntary passivity. It's just like an activation, like a willingness, a willingness or a surrender, right? Surrender, I think is another really good word for this to come to this voluntary passivity so that you can receive what's really there to receive and thus also give what you really have to give to the situation, right? And I think that this idea of voluntary passivity is, it's a surrender to a higher power. It's a surrender and an asking for the divine to inform our human experience. It's, the, it's asking for the Holy Spirit to come in. It's, it's allowing yourself to become a vessel to receive and give what is really going on right here, right now, in the present moment, not by association, not based on things that we previously knew, but this very new thing 
and very important. Each moment, each moment of our experience and awareness is so important. Everything that is coming to us is absolutely sacred and integral to our growth and to our awakening and to our remembrance of ourselves as divine beings. And so whatever is coming to us, being able to understand that if I'm willing to become, uh, to affirm voluntary passivity, if I'm willing to let go, to open, to surrender to this moment, if I'm willing to ask that the Holy Spirit or the divinity that I am show me and fill me and allow me to be what there is to be here, then something's going to happen. Something new is going to happen, basically, right? And actually, every moment is new. It's just, are we there for it? And for me, this voluntary passivity, this idea of voluntary, willing passivity is, it's an acquiescing and a surrender to saying, there is something new here, probably billions of things, right? But at least one new thing that I don't know about that I am willing to give myself over to, to voluntarily be passive, step back, calm down. It's almost like disengage to engage, right? Like relax to receive. And, and we also know that we perform higher and better in a state of relaxation. Um, so it's like relaxing and you're going to better be able to receive this new information and observe what it is that's really going on and intuit what it is about this that is absolutely vital and sacred to your part in the in the divine plan and the divine being. So voluntary passivity. Anyway, I want to hear what you guys think about this. What what words or activations come to you that allow you to get that engagement of just letting go and becoming clear from your narrative, letting go and clearing out to be able to receive, to receive divine insight, to, to receive divine assignment, to receive divine peace and divine love. Cause that's what there is waiting for us when we voluntarily yield. That's another good word, right? So like yield, surrender, letting go, relaxing, um, even submitting. I don't like that one as much. Uh, opening. I like that better. Like opening to what is rather than what we think it is, but what is and being willing to not know yet because especially as long as we're running on all of our old programs and old narratives it's like it's okay that you can't yet see what is or know what is just be willing to relax into being shown and being filled with that and to relax into that it is a higher power a finer energy a greater vibration that shows you that and that comes to you in a state of trust, relaxation, voluntary passivity. All right. I love you guys. It's getting kind of dark if you can't tell. I'll talk to you soon. Mwah.